everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Lisa and today I'm gonna to show you around our house. My friend is coming to visit. She's gonna be here in a couple hours and since the house is like spotless, I thought I need to just show you guys what the house looks like now after we've been living here for a little bit. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you around our house. Let me know down in the comments if you'd like to know where we purchased any item. I'm sure most of it was on Amazon. Um, I'll try to give you links if you'd like them. So anyway, let me turn the camera around and show you around our house. Okay, so we are starting in the master bathroom. Now this is Carol Ann's area. I gave her the master and I took the back two bedroom. So she has, of course, a huge tub. She has an over the toilet organizer where she keeps all of her things. And then she's got some cabinets here and a vanity with storage. And then she has a stand up shower. Now we had to put a shower curtain on there because it does leak out of the bottom. This is an old mobile home, by the way. It's a 1996, uh, 16 by 80 mobile home. So you can tell it's got the 1990s uh, blue carpeting. So she's got some things in her room. We've got a cat tree. I swear we have cat trees and cat beds everywhere in the house. This They pretty much have every window. And then my daughter has her desk and she has some storage and then she has uh, her bed. So no animals have been in here since I shampooed the carpet, so everything is like super clean for my company. I'm not letting any animals in here. And for my friend, I have for her some fresh clean towels, some washcloths, gave her a toothbrush, toothpaste, some body wash and shampoo, plus conditioner that I already hand, had on hand. So this is the master. And let me go ahead and turn this light out. I'm gonna try to get this all in one video. We'll see how this goes. I'm gonna turn out the lights as we go because I I keep all the lights out normally, but I've turned them all on for the sake of filming. One thing about this house, Simba, get back, baby. Get back, go, 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 go. You can't come back in here, buddy. Go on, go on. So this is the entryway and we have a lot of cats. So we have a lot of cat boxes. Now we use these that have the uh, covers on them so they go down inside because if not, Chewy will get into it. It's disgusting, but it is the truth. We have some cat food and dog food here and our coats. Um, and then we have our some of our shoes here in the entryway. And then right off the entryway, we have our <laughs> Simba our laundry room and yes it is so tight in here right now um you know we're doing a no spend challenge these are all of our cleaners so as you can see we have an abundance um we also have an abundance of uh dish not dish but uh, laundry soap and dryer sheets all that kind of good stuff so we've got paper towels and toilet paper and all of our stuff. And this is where all of the extra apply, like kitchen appliances are. We have my big Instant Pot, my Vitamix, toaster oven, a big uh, roasting pan, cat litter down there. So this is the laundry room. Not much to see here. Of course, Simba's really interested. I'm gonna put this uh, laundry organizer in Carol Ann's bedroom in case my friend has anything that needs to be hung up. Come on, Simba. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. Good boy. All right, so let's turn this out. And then here is the kitchen. We have some cabinets here. We've got our dishwasher and sink and all that kind of good stuff. The stove. And we have several stations where we feed the cats. Uh, some of them don't like to eat together. And so we just keep like cat food on top of the dining table because we don't use it. Here is our pantry and our coffee station. Just some extra things that we use pretty regularly. Our pantry. 
and Simba again. He's just a ham. These are where our snacks go. And these are some extra things. Like I've, look how little we have in our pantry, guys. I've been working so hard to get through the pantry and all of that is empty. And one of these can organizers is empty. So I'm really proud of myself. Then we have our refrigerator. It's a side-by-side -side freezer and fridge. We have our trash can. This is another area where we feed the cats. I need to put that in donation. That printer doesn't, isn't working. Um, and then this is the living room. So Carol Ann, this is her spot. This is mine. I do have a treadmill that I bought off of uh, Facebook Marketplace. Of course, another litter box because cats. And then on the TV, oh, I'm watching Kit Boga. Um, if you like scam baiting, and if you don't know who he is, you should totally check him out. He's hilarious. Um, and then we have all of our cat toys. We've got two huge bins and some toys over here. This is the, uh, what do you call it? The coffee table, but we don't really use it. So I have some of the things that I use for, you know, putting on my desk uh, for filming. Um, I got these big cubes on accident from Walmart. They delivered them. And they weren't either what I ordered or wasn't for me, and they told me to keep them. So we've got a pillow in there. The cats like to sleep in here. We have a big cat tree. And this is Squeakers. Hi, Squeaks. Oh, Squeaks. Hi, baby. She's just such a cutie. Oh, you got a cough? They're going to go get fixed, her and Marble, uh, later on this month. Um, she's uh, trained in the litter box and all that kind of good stuff. So um, if anybody or any of you guys are in the central Arkansas area and would like a kitty, she and Chewy are just the best of friends. She gets along with other cats and dogs, and we're trying to find her a good home after she's fixed and up to date on her shots. So I'm gonna make sure she gets to a good home because she's a sweetie. And the vet said she is in perfect health and about seven months old. Isn't that right? Oh, <laughs> she's just such a sweet cat. I just love her so much. And we call her Squeakers because she doesn't really meow. She just squeaks. <laughs> All right, um, here's my couch that Caroline got me. This pops down inside just to make you know, an L-shaped couch, but I like to keep this out because I like to kick my feet up and we don't have an ottoman. If we had an, like a, an ottoman with a comfy top, I probably would put that down and use an ottoman for my feet, but we don't have that. So here's another window and of course we have a pet bed. Chewy likes this spot a lot. This is his favorite spot to relax at the window so we can see all the pups outside that are running around the neighborhood. Again, Carol Ann's chair. And here is where I film. So if you have ever thought, you know, I really wish I could start a YouTube channel or I've thought about doing it, but I just don't have the supplies. I am here to tell you that you do not need to spend a lot of money for filming. I use this tray table. I got this from Walmart. Carol Ann already had this. My friend sent me this Lisa Marie Budgets uh, desk plaque for Christmas. But I just use this tray table and on my, my side table, I have this um, arm. And so I put my phone in here, so I use my iPhone and this will, you know, move around and rotate and do all the things so I can get, you know, a downward shot filming here. The trick is to do it in, landscape so put your camera or phone sideways not up and down uh like upright but this is it i think i got this for like maybe 75 dollars on amazon and this tray table was i think i mean maybe 30 or 40 bucks at walmart because it's this is a big one but this is it you need this a tray table somewhere to sit and i sit on the couch and a phone you don't need much so i'm gonna say for under $100 in a cell phone, you can start a YouTube channel also. 
Um, this is my side table. I've got my coffee going. I've got Nespresso in there. I've got all of my filming and my Erin Condren planners. Everything is in here that I use for filming. I used to do it in the office, but I really like being in the living room. So here is the hallway and we've got this bench. It was my grandmother's and that just sits out here. Um, this is the office and I you guys haven't seen this in a while. I don't want to give away like where I work and make sure I don't have anything out like that. But I have my workstation here. I have three monitors, two which were provided by my company and one that I bought. We have YouTube going for the fur babies. We always have cat TV going. Another feeding station. There's my printer, my Cricut, all of the things all of my clothes are in here and <laughs> I thought about doing a video counting every pen that I have because I have a bunch of pens that's another thing I'm not buying this year but so that houses all that and you guys have already seen my clothes storage um cat tv and this is a monitor that I can hook up to my personal laptop it also is a smart tv it's a Vizio. I think I got it at Walmart. And then I love, I love these, um, like, what are they called? Architect lamps. I really like these. And then in my office in the corner, we have two cat trees with cat beds and pillows. And they love this. Here's Oreo. Hi, Oreo. Hi. You want to say hi to the people? She likes to be in the sun. <laughs> So she is soaking up the rays over here by herself. And then, of course, my desk. And this is my Etsy mailing supplies. And then here is my bathroom. You know, that's a small one. It's got a shower tub combo. This is my storage. And I've got a sink and a mirror. So, you know, just your average spare bathroom and then this is my bedroom but of course we have I'm gonna shut the door because Simba likes to torment Tink he chases her around and um, I have to keep them separate and of course we have cat TV going on I've got the fan because it tends to get warm in here with the heat on um, this is a mandala I think I'm saying that right and my friend made this and um, I have her Etsy shop if you guys are interested this is humongous and absolutely gorgeous like the detail and the work that she does is just absolutely stunning so I got this one for my room so I'm gonna move around this way so I've got my uh, Yoshida spin bike and then of course we have cat food and water because we have I try to have cat food and water in every single room in case the cats get in a room and the door is shut I want to make sure they have fresh water um, and then I have my little side table and this is a queen size bed that I share with the animals <laughs> we have this little cat house um, Tink is here in the window she likes this bed the best this is another one of those huge cubes that Walmart sent me and I didn't need, didn't want, but I put a pillow in there and the cats love to get in there to, to sleep. And then we have another cat bed. And so Chewy will get in here, Tink, Simba, they'll, they all have somewhere to sleep and they prefer to be that by the window. And so I don't know um, how you guys, um, you know, where your animals sleep, but I like that they sleep with me. And so that's everything. That is the entire house. Um, I live with my daughter. If uh, you guys are just clicking on this video because uh, you wanted to see a walkthrough of somebody's house. Um, I live with my daughter. She is in grad school. She is going to be 26 in March. She is a twin. My son is married with two kiddos and they do not live with me, but my daughter does live with me. She's away right now. 
at her clinical rotation. She's in grad school. And so this is a mobile home that her dad and I actually bought when we got married in 1996. And um, we divorced and he lived here for a long time. And he recently, in the last couple of years, built a house. And so we're renting this from him for $500 a month. And it's a really good sized house. We're in central Arkansas. Um, you know, if anybody else was renting this house, I'm sure he would probably charge more. And I do understand that my situation is a little bit different. And um, I get a lot of comments about um, my low rent and it's not realistic, but it's what I pay. Um, and so that is it. There are, you know, here's some places in the floor. It squeaks a lot when I am filming, but we just put some really heavy duty tape over these parts of the floor. It was like this when we got here. Um, I think my son's dog or something might have done this, but uh, we just kind of taped it so it won't, it won't get any worse while we're here, but this is everything. So <laughs> I am... Um, really excited to show you guys what the house looks like especially when it's super clean like this cleaning ladies came on thursday and we do have a security camera so there's my kia soul and i can see outside of the house i can see who's in the driveway and if anybody's coming up to the back door we also have two kangaroo cameras in the front and in the back and they alert, let me see if I can go out here. Sometimes there's cats out here eating. Um, coming outside, this is where we we feed the, um, the cats and dogs and leave water. But this is a kangaroo camera and it's detecting me right now. I'm getting pop-ups on my phone. Excuse the paper plate, I need to pick that up. It's from the cats, but it picks up all of the motion and I know when somebody is at the back door or in the front. So here's the, the backyard. We have neighbors up the road. We, our um, yard guy has already gotten rid of all of the leaves. I know $75 every two weeks seems like a lot of money, but with all of these trees, guys, oh my gosh, the leaves are just terrible. We have a storage shed. There's a feral cat house. And here's another feral cat house here. Um, I had to put up this baby gate because one of the stray dogs got underneath of there trying to get at one of the cats. So anyway, it's really quiet out here. Um, there are a lot of mobile homes. Um, a lot of them are old and kind of run down, but you know, it's quiet and people just kind of keep to themselves. And so, I mean, for the money, you can't beat it. It's a little chilly out this morning. We have some new neighbors that just put in a mobile home across the street. I don't, haven't met them yet, but yeah, we have a pretty good sized property. Just show you around the front. There's just a lot of trees. It's the front porch. We come in and out of the back, but we've got another kangaroo camera up there. So that again, I know when somebody's coming, but anyway, I just thought I would share with you guys where we're living. And I guess that's everything for this video, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for supporting my channel. And I hope you guys have a great day or night wherever you're at. Bye.